Good morning, it's Matt here from Gogreen Autos. So this is a Citroen Berlingo electric van, a 2018 22 kilowatt hour battery pack under there. And this has done 27,000 miles. And some people say that electric vehicles produce more brake particle matter because they are heavier. So I say brake particle matter, what they actually mean is the brake disc pads wear out, producing that brake particle um, pollution and uh, supposedly it's because EVs are heavier. Yes, true, some EVs are heavy and slightly heavier than their diesel counterparts, but then not by much. However, at 27,000 miles, the brake pads on this car are still at 12 millimeters. There we can see 12 millimeters. So they haven't worn down whatsoever since new at 27,000 miles. And as you can see, actually, it's corrosion which is the biggest problem because you don't use the brakes. The pads have had incredibly little use here because the uh, electric vehicle has done majority of its braking on the electric motor using the regen braking. That's where you slow down with the braking effect of the motor, recouping your kinetic energy going forward and putting it back into the battery pack. So the brakes are really there just for emergencies and to hold you when you've already stopped. Consequently, on electric vehicles, the reality is brake pad wear is virtually minimal. It's almost non-existent. As you can see here, 27,000 miles, it has had no brake pad wear at all. And actually, brake um, disc corrosion and scoring is more of a problem simply because of the lack of use on the brakes. And to uh, get rid of this, you just need to drive down the road when it's safe and there's nothing behind you and slam the brakes on a few times and get these brake pads working, which will clean up the disc. You often find with EVs that they all have um, MOT advisories with scored and pitted brakes. That's purely because of lack of use. So that old myth that electric vehicles uh, wear out their brakes quicker because they're heavier just isn't true. Another example is our Hyundai Ioniq, now done 105,000 miles. It is still on the original pads front and back. Uh, we also had a BMW i4 with 125,000 miles on. That was still on its original pads. But it's lack of use which tends to cause more problems, particularly on the back brakes, uh, because when you slow down on a vehicle, the majority of braking is on the front brakes because the weight is at the front and the weight is pushing forward. Uh, but yes, yeah, lack of use, which is a bigger issue, not brake pad wear. And they need cleaning up and a bit of lubrication just to make sure that they're not seized because of rust rather than obviously wear and tear. If this van continues to be driven in the same manner, these pads have done 27,000 miles and they're still like new. That's 12 millimetres, 10 millimetres, 8. And then we go into the yellow, 6 five, four millimetres, three, two millimetre wear before you would consider changing them. So that's probably going to be 150, 160, maybe 170,000 miles, may even be the life of the vehicle. Because of that is often the rust on these backing plates which makes them stick and requires them to be changed sooner than the actual brake pad wear. And in this example the brake discs do look worse just because it's been sat outside in the rain for uh, a week or, or two now. So um, that's just surface corrosion which will obviously all clean up and uh, look a lot better once it's gone out on the road and uh, the brakes have been used and that will all clean up nicely. Anyway that's it for this one. If you found it useful please do click that thumbs up video on YouTube. Do subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you on the next video.